thank you thank you thank you thank you fully raw christina <laughs> This recipe was extremely delicious. I mean, you can add whatever you want to add to it, um, to, you know, add your own flavor. But I mean, it is so good on its own. The flavors come out. Um, and quite frankly, I did have to, you know, substitute a few things. Um, I didn't have, you know, the pine nuts and I switched the greens uh, with spinach instead. So, uh, oh yeah, and then I added a little bit of grapeseed oil uh, on top of the, the zucchini with a little bit of salt. You'll see. Anyways, anyways, I hope y'all enjoy this video, you know, and I hope y'all uh, get to try the recipe out. It's, it's really great and I definitely recommend it. And now it's time to peel the zucchini and I used one of my um, peelers or you know I think that's what it's called a peeler and yeah that was the hard way until um, Shamari gladly reminded me that I had a contraption to help me <laughs> make things easier. And like I said, you can definitely buy this on Amazon for under $20, um, maybe even under $15, you know, but you want to want to get some quality. I mean, you get what you pay for at the end of the day. This is a great investment. Right now, I'm adding in a little bit of Himalayan pink salt to the uh, zucchini just to add a little bit of uh, zing to it. Uh, but you don't have to add a lot. I didn't add a lot. Um, you don't have to add any at all if you don't want to honestly but um, yeah added that in there and then I also drizzled a little bit of grapeseed oil and we're gonna mix that up you know I like to use my hands I, mean, I definitely used on um, a spoon but hands are the best utensils now it's time to go ahead and get the sauce out and I'm scraping every single bit off of this daggone uh, utensil here and yeah, you'll see it in a sec. Wow, wow. It's looking creamy. It's looking delicious. <laughs> Wow. Okay, this Never thought. Never thought. Never thought. Try some. I didn't try it yet. Good note. So okay. I can't put no parmesan on it. I don't know. It smells. It smells like avocado. Mm hmm. What you feeling like, man? <laughs> Just wait for it, I'll wait. Oh, it's gonna need more salt, more, it doesn't need pepper. Like, I was thinking about putting some pepper. What do you think? For zucchini, mm -hmm. pasta. It's pretty good. Okay. Got some raw zucchini pasta right here, y'all. 
Yep, I just tried it off camera. Couldn't wait. I'm gonna do it again, just real quick, because this, this can definitely become a staple. I can't even take this right now. It's so creamy. And like it's so good and even adding like that little bit of salt um, on the zucchini noodles definitely amped it up a little bit even though you know things have natural salt we're getting there we're working on it you know and this is so good like creamy into your life it's so easy okay didn't think it was that easy i mean i've made zucchini pasta before but kind of like i think i heated it up a little bit and you know on the stove and made like you know it was a hot marinara sauce instead so it wasn't raw raw this right here is my sweat if you end up making this i would love to hear what you thought about it and you know how how you felt about it you know quite frankly um i did notice that my stomach has to get used to eating you know raw veggies like that you know in abundance because it's been a while you know it's been a while so i just noticed that and notice how your body reacts because it's, it's gonna tell you and over time you know it's just gonna get better man it's just gonna get better so i, I really hope y'all have a great day a great rest of your day and yeah like comment and subscribe you know i mean hey why not <laughs> but yeah have a good one